And let's get you to Fayetteville, Arkansas, where, as I mentioned earlier, Team 12's Bianca Bono trying to bring you all the facts on embattled county assessor Paul Peterson talked with him today after he posted bail. Bianca? Well, Mark, we've been waiting here at the airport since early this morning, not knowing exactly when Paul Peterson would be heading home, but his attorneys have been fighting for his release for weeks, so we knew he wasn't going to waste a lot of time before getting back to the rest of his family. Take a look at this video showing the first time Paul Peterson has been seen as a free man since his arrest back on October 8th. He and his wife Raquel walked in with smiles checking their bags. This comes one day after Peterson faced a judge in federal court here on 19 charges and the judge granted his release. We've talked with Peterson's attorneys, but this was our first opportunity to speak directly with Peterson and ask questions about the adoption scheme he was allegedly running. We asked how he responds to the many allegations against him. We also asked him if he plans on trying to head back to work as assessor and get his job back. Even though the Maricopa County Board suspended him earlier this week, he declined to answer those questions, but he did make a a brief comment. Take a listen. All I'm going to say to you guys is I'm really looking forward to getting home and seeing my family and uh, being with my kids for Halloween tomorrow. That's all I'm going to say right now. Thank you guys. And as he heads home, Peterson is now wearing an ankle monitor. He had to surrender his passport. He also cannot practice adoption law or possess any weapons. Now, Peterson has pleaded not guilty to all 19 federal charges, and his legal team says they look forward to the day they can defend him in court. And as for now, that day is December 9th when his trial is set to begin. And by the way, his flight took off from here in Arkansas about an hour ago. For now, we're live in Bentonville, Arkansas. Bianca Bono, 12 News. All right, Bianca, thanks so much.